Monogamy or non-monogamy? Polyamory? Open relationships, closed relationships, that's what this book, The Truth by Neil Strauss, is all about. Neil Strauss, of course, is the author of the famous pickup book called The Game. Uh, and The Truth is uh, his journey from trying to figure out how to be in a committed relationship. Uh, he was a bit of a geek, and then he became a bit of a player, and then he met a wonderful woman, and then he cheated on her, and now in the book, he's trying to figure out why he cheated on her and to make amends and to figure out if monogamy is for him. That's pretty much the book. It's a good book, Neil Strauss, The Truth. Uh, I'm gonna go to the, the end part. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you how the story ends, but uh, there's a part here on page 419 at the end. Um, he says that uh, he's come to realize that there's no so-called natural way to be in a relationship. The whole idea that we can study the past or other cultures to determine what's right for us today is ridiculous because nearly every society tells a different story of mating and sexuality and every point of view can be supported with evidence from some other tribe or species. There isn't just one true and proper way to love, to relate, to bond, to touch. Any style of relationship is the right one, as long as it's a decision made by the whole person and not the whole in the person. Uh, so that's very good. I really liked that part. The book is, um, you know, like uh, once he cheats on his uh, long-term girlfriend, uh, he goes off trying to uh, try polyamorous relationships. That's having like two, even three girlfriends at the, at the same time. He goes to swingers clubs and sex parties uh, and he details uh, his journey through that uh, and the emotions, uh, some of them amazing, some of them not so amazing. Uh, and then ultimately it culminates in, in what happens at the end of the book, which I won't tell you what happens, but if you just do a Google search of Neil Strauss, uh, N-E-I-L-S-T-R-A-U-S, you can probably see what happened. But if you want to read the book first, I would encourage you uh, to do so. So if you are struggling with monogamy or if you're struggling with an open relationship it's a fascinating book and a great insight into all of the emotions that go on with uh, in this particular uh, author's mind he also goes to therapy uh, sex therapy sex and love therapy and in that process there's all these issues that come up to do with his relationship with his mother with his father they all say that, you know, all guys have mummy issues and all girls have daddy issues. Well, Neil Strauss, uh, the author of the book, The Truth, certainly has that. Um, and he details working through that um, and figuring out, you know, why his relationship with his mother influenced him so much in his choice of mate or his womanizing ways uh, in, in his adult life. It's a fascinating um, way to look at life or a fascinating insight into your own relationship with your parents is you figure out like we're all kind of messed up one way or the other even if we had like really great parents who raised us well there's still some kind of issue like how they raised us still affects us and still affects the types of relationships that we have later on in life i'm certainly not a psychologist uh, or a therapist but um you know i have gone to therapy before and you know, a lot of the stuff that comes up is, well, for me personally, is my relationship to my mother, my relationship to my father, my relationship to their relationship, and how that influences you in, in, uh, in later life. And certainly in this book, The Truth by Neil Strauss, you know, his relationship to his mother affected his uh, inability to form long lasting, uh, happy, monogamous relationships with women. Um, and just, you know, reading about him deconstructing that, like deconstructing why that is, is, uh, you know, he, he went out and interviewed uh, evolutionary psychologists, uh, people like Helen Fisher, who's pretty much renowned as like the world's leading expert on love. He looked, uh, interviewed relationship experts. Uh, he had his brain put under a, a CAT scan, or maybe it wasn't a CAT scan, I think it was, um, uh, they, they, they put uh, hooked nodes up to his brain to sort of track his brain when he was thinking about titillating stuff like um, sex and different women and then pain and struggle. And they really just monitored his mind or his brain, if you like, 
to see what kind of activity was going on, uh, you know, when he was thinking about certain things to do with relationships. Um, so really interesting stuff. I'll read it just a couple of other little notes here. Um, he's saying here, intimacy problems come from a lack of self-love. Someone who fears intimacy thinks unconsciously, if you knew who I actually was, you'd leave me. Um, when a love avoidant and a love addict begin a relationship, a predictable pattern occurs. The avoidant gives and gives, sacrificing his own needs, but it's never enough for the love addict. So the avoidant grows resentful and seeks an outlet outside of the relationship, but at the same time feels too guilty to stop taking care of the needy person. And so forth and so forth. So it's pretty good stuff. Let me just read some more insightful stuff at the end. Um, I think that it's, uh, let's have a look here. If two people are emotionally healthy adults, then there's no dilemma that they can't work out together. They're not going to even notice each other aging, but just getting happier. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Uh, and he talks about his most successful relationship in which he's honest about everything and so is she. There are no secrets. So we just discuss things like we should have in the first place. Um, yeah, and then if he's talking about if, if people are having sex problems, then the problem isn't actually the sex, it's the relationship between the people having it. So, uh, so there, there you go. There's a few little notes in there. Definitely worth reading. Check out the book The Truth by Neil Strauss, uh, the New York Times bestselling author of The Game. Uh, he's now a 47-year-old man, I think. So if you want to see what happened to him, whether he's still a player or whether he's married, whether he's married with a kid, then you'll definitely have to read the book. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just uh, Google his name and see what ended up happening. But yeah, check it out. The Truth by Neil Strauss. How do you make a better group of friends? Well, here's how you do it. You put yourself in environments of people who are doing exactly 